So I've just opened up my Gracie Wrap pattern in a size 10. Here we go. Um, you can scroll down and see that that's all there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the left hand side. Over here you'll see there's a little layers panel. Um, and it actually will show up like this and that won't be there, the preview. So you click on that to get that in there. Um, and you'll see there's sections here for the different customizations you want to select. So first of all, we'll look at the front bodice, waist wraps and accessories. Um, so we'll put a little arrow down. First of all, um, I know from my sizing that I did before this, and that you will do too, that I am an A to C bra cup. Um, so whatever bodice I choose here, I will be choosing A to C bra cup. You might be choosing D plus bra cup. Um, it's just whatever worked for you in the sizing. Um, so I am going to go with the boat neck front, um, and so I'll leave that, don't need to change anything there, but if I wanted to, I could say go the v-neck front, and that would all change for me, but I'll go back to the boat neck front, scroll down a little bit, that's all the necklines there, so we can skip those. The back neck tie, um, I can leave off, because I've got a boat neck, I don't really need it, the dress will stay on my shoulders enough. Um, accessories, I'm going to leave the scrunchie and headscarf on. Um, I might not sew them straight away, but it'll be nice to have those patterns um, for if I do in the future. Pocket, I'm going to leave on because I need a pocket in my Gracie. And for the waist wrap, I'm going to go with standard waist wrap there. But there is also the two-toned or the thin waist wrap. So then we're going to head up to the top. Minimise that and head to sleeves and skirts. Um, first of all, we're going to head there and then we can see that there's the short puff sleeve or the long shirt sleeve. I'm personally going to keep the long shirt sleeve on for mine. Um, but once again, I could deselect that, hide that and select the one that I want. But I'm going to keep the long shirt. Now beneath that, um, you'll see these heights here. You might have seen in the instructions um, that there was the different heights there that you could um, look at. Personally, I am 168 centimetres tall um, and I want a mid-thigh finish. So I'm going to find that, which is 160, there I am, 160 to 169 centimetres mid-thigh. So easy as that, I'm going to keep that one on because that's me. But if I was, say, 170 to 174 centimetres and I want it above knee, I'll deselect the other one and select that one. So I'm going to go back and keep that one on there because that is me. Um, and if I was to be creating the Lydia skirt, for example, I would select those. But I'm going to stick with the Gracie wrap for now. Then we're going to minimise that once again. And lastly, the back bodice. Um, so we've got low square back. Once again, I'm just going to keep that one on for me. But you'll see here that um, the different necklines it says what uh, front neckline it matches so there we go boat neck front that low square matches that so we've got to make sure of that um, and you'll see that there's other ones that match the other front necklines so like high square back would um, fit into the standard square or v-neck front so perfect we'll keep on the low square back and that is all good to go and you'll see here, scroll down, and when I change um, the customizations over here, it will all automatically change over here, so you don't need to worry about that. And then you go um, up and file, save, and then that's the one that you'll be printing or sending to print. And you're done.